Welcome back to Farm and Hammer everyone. This video, uh, the style is going to be slightly different because so my wide frame lens, which I can normally hold the camera on one hand and hold it and it's you guys can see a full picture. For some reason that lens, I was just trying it out and it's not wanting to work. Everything's blurry. So I'm going to have my long range lens on right now. So that's why I'm going to be standing a little bit further from the camera and the camera is going to have to be standing still while I do this, so. So the guy that was supposed to cut the fescue seed, he did get the, all the fescue seed cut a week or two ago, and uh, was a little late, but um, production still wasn't that bad, it wasn't great, but um, he did get all the seed cut, and after that we had a couple neighbors come out and cut and bale hay for us, so um, this is one of those fields. Uh, this one, I think it produced 50 something, maybe 60. Uh, one of the other fields made 66, and then the last field, I think it was, oh, I don't know. It was in the 60s, close to 70, so um, we did get some of our own hay made, which is nice, and uh, the barn is looking, looking full now. Got one load there on the truck ready to haul home. But anyway, guys, since I'm operating with a weird camera here, um, today's video is going to be slightly different, main reason being my camera. So uh, today we're going to be talking about warts. I did have one of the heifers I just purchased, which I showed you all in the last video. I um, bought 20 heifers from my dad. I did, I thought I looked them over really close, um, but it turns out one has really bad warts now, and uh, the second one, she's starting to develop some around her neck. So we're gonna take a look at those, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about warts on cattle, and uh, kind of the ins and outs, and how to treat it, how it's spread, and how they get it in the first place. So guys, here's my group of heifers. They are all uh, coming to greet me. We got some, looking on some mineral down there. But, um, so there are 20 of them. And uh, like I said, we got one with a major wart problem. It looks like the two that have warts are right here. So, there's the first one. You can see she has a few little spots. They're below her neck. Um, once again, nothing to worry about there. The one we're worried about is this one right here. She does have a pretty nasty looking thing on her neck. And uh, normally when we have problems with warts, we just, they'll just have a couple little spots here, maybe some around the eye. Um, but for the most part, warts tend to stick around their shoulders and neck area, um, and sometimes the face. Other potential areas, we've never had an issue with it, but some can get it on their teats and udders. But for the most part, it likes to hang around the neck and face region. So you may be wondering what causes warts in cattle. So warts in cattle is actually caused by viruses. I know there's multiple strains, I'm not sure exactly how many, but there are different strains and each strain, I know the warts will grow in different areas on the body or at least tend to grow in different areas on the body. And, uh, but still for the most part, they tend to grow on the neck, shoulders and around the face. So cows get warts because it can be transmitted directly or indirectly. So obviously she has not been separated from the rest of them here. So she can be spreading it directly. She'll be rubbing on the other ones, walking through the herd. That's one way. The other way would be through feeders, waterers, anything the cows bending down, rubbing their neck on, and other animals will also touch that area. Head shoots, gates, things like that. Anywhere where a cow might have direct, direct contact with an object that other cows will also touch, um, that's potentially one of the ways they can spread it. So treatment wise, yes, there are a couple ways you can treat it. I know you can talk to your local vet to see what they'd recommend, but um, one thing I do know a couple people do, they will cut off the warts once they think they're about as big as they're gonna get. They will cut them off, treat them with something. Um, your vet can come out, they will sometimes crush them, scrape them, and then treat them with something. But for the most part, warts will clear up on their own. There's nothing you really need to treat them with. I've heard some people use antibiotics just under the skin. Once again, not necessary. They will go away on their own and they're not life-threatening. So you can treat them if you want to. It may or may not help. Um, I know crushing them and scraping or cutting them off, you still run a risk of them coming back. Um, and the chance of them going away after doing those is not great. So most of the time, warts will go away on their own. The issue with that is sometimes it takes them six six months to a year for the warts to actually disappear. So um, I have had heifers that have had this before. It wasn't nearly this bad, but they just have a couple spots here and there around their eye or on their shoulders. And uh, it did take them six months to a year, sometimes a little bit over a year for them to get over it and 
for the warts not to appear at all. So the types of animals you're gonna see warts on, most of the time it's generally not gonna be older cows. Uh, most of the time it's gonna be three-year-old cows or younger, uh, calves especially. That's for the most part the only time we see it here. Uh, young calves like these that have been weaned and are less than a year old. That's, that's generally the age that we tend to see it on, on our farm. So since it is a virus and it is transmittable, um, you may be wondering why we don't separate her and try to get her out of the rest of the herd. And uh, thing is, every other calf we've had that got warts, they get over it. We might have one or two other ones that get it, but for the most part, none of the rest get it. Why, I don't know. Um, but I guess it just doesn't affect them like it does some of them. We've never had our entire herd just all of a sudden come up with warts. Uh, so sure, you might have a couple calves here and there that get it. Is it life-threatening? Once again, no. Is it transmittable? Yes. Will it go through your whole herd? Most likely not. Now, with that being said, there are some extremely rare cases where cows will get it all over their nostrils, all over their eyes. It may cause them to go blind. It may cause them to struggle breathing a little bit. Most of the time, it's little tiny things. Um, I'm sure you can find some pictures online where some pretty drastic cases where, you know, the whole animal's face is covered in warts. And uh, obviously, when you get to something that major, um, I would recommend talking to a vet and getting that treated. So there are some preventative measures you can take to hopefully prevent getting warts or maybe prevent your other animals from getting warts. Um, one way, which I'd already mentioned, was to separate um, whichever one you have with warts, separate it out, keep it by itself for a while um, till the warts are pretty much gone, which once again could take six months to a year. So is that ideal? No, um, but it would potentially keep your other ones from getting it. Most of the time, if you spot warts on an animal, the rest of your herd has already been exposed to it, so there's not much of a reason to separate that individual out. But they do make some vaccines for warts. How effective they are, I don't know. We've never used them. Um, is it worth your money or time giving them vaccines for warts? I don't know. That'd be something you have to talk to your vet about and a decision you have to make on your own. But if you had a major issue with warts, like a lot of your calves are getting it, um, that might be something I would recommend looking into. Uh, but once again, for us, warts are not a huge deal. They may look gross, um, but they go away eventually and they're not life-threatening. So. so the last thing you may be wondering is if humans can get the same warts that these cows can. And no, you can't, you can handle them. I would obviously recommend wearing gloves, but either way, technically, I guess you could do it barehanded and you wouldn't get the same kind of warts. Once again, wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend wearing gloves if you're gonna um, either cut warts off or treat them, treat them in any way. Um, yeah, I guess technically these warts are not transmittable to humans, so that's good to know. So guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully by next week I will have this whole camera lens figured out and we can be back to some of the normal vlog type videos. Um, but for now, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one anyway. If you could, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you could, if you enjoy these types of videos of course. And uh, please leave your feedback on this video specifically in the comments below. Um, just so I can kind of get an idea of what style of video you guys are okay with seeing, just in case I don't get this camera fixed by next week. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. With that being said, I will see you all next time.